Hey everyone, Techni here, finally with the budget build. Number one, I really, really apologize for it taking me so long to get to this. It's just, I really gotta find a good block of time to get to it. It's not like reviewing a product where I can review it and do other stuff at the same time while I'm testing out the product. Like when you're building a PC, you really gotta sit down and dedicate your time into it. And it's been really hard to come across that time, but hey, let's go on and get to it. So first what I'd like to do is talk about the parts we chose. Can we get our parts? There we go. So, all right, here's all of our parts. Now, I am sorry, I cannot give you a price per each uh, item here. I could probably give you a roundabout, but I figure there's no need for that. I've had these parts sitting over there for probably about a month right now. Again, it's just been so hard to find the time. All right, so just real quick, going over a couple of parts we're using. We already talked about the storage. Again, 250 SSD, two terabyte uh, hard drive right there. We're using the RX 570, the gigabyte, and it is a four gigabyte card right there. We're using the AMD Ryzen 3 1200. It was like 70 bucks, I believe, and it came with some games, and I was just truly just curious about it. I used a 2600 of mine, done a few builds with the 2200. I was just really curious on how well will the 70 buck MSRP processor work, you know? Our uh, our RAM here, 2400, two sticks of ASO, has 16 gigabytes right there. And then as far as the power supply, one of the Corsair 450 is a semi-modular. Of course, we're going to throw it all up in this thermal take H15 case right here. I actually did a review on this by itself again at 35 bucks. I just thought it was such a fantastic case. And again, I did a review on this case all by itself if you want to check it out. But hey, enough of me yakking here. I know you guys have been waiting long enough for this. Let's go on and get building. things real quick here number one I apologize for the poor audio in the beginning of the video and a little bit right here I just now realized I did not have my mic plugged in son of a gun rookie mistake but number two the other thing I want to talk about is just real funny like no matter how many PCs I guess maybe not how many PCs you build I'm sure there's other people that are just uh, incredibly confident about it but at least me even when I do any upgrades whether it be the RAM or a new SSD anything even the fans I always just get so nervous I'm like man so when I plug this thing in is it going to throw sparks everywhere and just blow up and not work at all? I don't know. I get incredibly nervous still to this day. All right. So we're all plugged in and everything. Uh, let's cross our fingers here and hope it works, right? Where's our power button? Here we go. No fires. No fires. We're good. Definitely get in there and kind of control our fans. We got uh, a little bit loud. A little bit loud in there. Let me show you this. 
You can see the fans up front. And that, as you remember before, I talked about taking that whole uh, compartment out there to hold the hard drive. So it's real nice. You've got a really nice, really, really nice airflow in there. This back fan's really loud. Let's see how it looks in the front. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice right there. Let me go and cut the lights and see what it looks like. So what do you think? I think it looks so stinking gorgeous. It's just so cool. You got the little grates up there and you see the red coming through it. And again, if you had your own color, whether it be blue or green or whatever, I think it looks really, really cool. Also on the top, you just kind of see the lights coming through. So it's kind of like a real nice, subtle, kind of in the background RGB. It's not like this flashy disco. It just looks kind of sleek and just stealthily with that, those red lights just kind of in the background right there. Really, really nice. I, I really like the way it looks, but you know what? I'm not going to be able to play games with something that looks good. Let's go on and get a monitor, fire it up, get some windows on and everything, get into BIOS and quiet these dang fans down, download some games. Let's see how this $400, $450 PC actually performs, right? Hey, I'll be right back with you. All right, so as you see, we're in Apex Legends right now, and it is staying in the low 100s. Like 108, before it was jumping up to 120s, 110 right here. Like, wow, I did not expect to get this out of here. Like, holy smokes. This is incredible. Again, talking about this price and everything, it's just like, like there you go. See the 120s? Let's get a little something. We'll drop a little bit in 90s. There we go. So when we get into, let's see. Still, high 90s to 100s. You gotta say our average is right out to 100s. It's like, holy smokes. Well, someone's been here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so as you can see, we're in some Fortnite right now, and I have the settings on high. You can see we're staying in the 90s right there, low 90s to high 80s. I never play this game, so I don't really know what I'm doing. What is that? What is that up there? It's like some turbines. Wow. Anyways, let's see over here. All right, so we're hitting low 80s right now. Pop into a little bit of the high 70s, but not bad. We're definitely staying mid 80s, average for sure. No question. Again, settings are on high right here, and it looks really, really good. All right, so wow, not too bad, right? Now, real quick, I do apologize for only showing two games. I have that fantastic rural internet, you know what I mean? They give us that cap, and our speeds are incredibly low. But with both those games, not too bad at all. Apex hitting around the 90s, high 90s to 100s. Fortnite staying around the 80s right there. Not bad at all. Both games were set on high, and I didn't go in there and adjust all sorts of other things with the shadows and this, that, and the other, you know, so you can probably gain a few more frames, actually. On Fortnite, actually, when I first fired it up, I don't know if you all know, whenever you first fire Fortnite up, it says, would you like us to get the best settings for your system or whatnot, you know? So I clicked OK, actually, and it actually synced everything up to Epic. So, you know, you can play it on Epic and get your, you know, right around 60 frames. Me, personally, I'm really used to playing for a little bit higher, on a little bit higher than 60 frames. You know, I like being up there above 75 at least you know a minimum and uh, like I said I was able to get that but again if you want it on epic and you're satisfied with just that 60 you can still get it so I mean honestly here like I'm completely blown away like I really did not expect to get this kind of performance out of you know what I mean and you're seeing this kind of performance out of these uh, multiplayer games so you get some triple A uh, titles on there you're definitely gonna hit those uh, 60s at high settings you know but again at this price we're talking what were we at like 450 for this even the other accessories I believe this monitor you can get on eBay for right around a hundred give or take I got a $50 keyboard here I don't know, my mouse is around 80 bucks, you know, so hey, you can always get one cheaper there. Got this nice speaker that you usually find for around 30 bucks. I mean, you got a complete setup here, a really nice setup, and you can probably get out the door, you know, give or take right at 600 bucks, a little bit more, 650, you know, depending on what you decide to, you know, go with and whatnot. Not bad at all. And on top of all, I really think it looks good. It just really looks crisp sharp and clean in my personal opinion i think we got a complete win here please let me know down in the comments what you think about it what have you done something different maybe i went with a different processor or something you know me personally for the dollar i think we have a complete win here like you're almost at that price of a playstation 4 pro or xbox one x 
depending if you find them on sale or whatnot, you know what I mean? But you're almost right there. And you're really getting some performance out of this for this price here. But again, please let me know down in the comments what you think or what you would have done. But hey, thank you so much for watching this one. I highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.